six, nine, damn, you're fine. Right. Shake it, shake it, shake Are it, shake it one today? more time. Uh, I'm not even that. VR is just straight up broken right now until and I can get a new HDMI cable. Hmm. So, well, this is episode 33. 33. 33. Episode 33 of the Beyond Pickle podcast. Hey, we can call it 33. Yeah, 30, 30 trees. We have 30 trees now. That is the that is today's. Yeah, why not? Now well, today, close to rhyming with my name, Jesus. <laughs> today is, for the most part, going to be brainstorming and talking about, like, we'll touch on whatever topics we want to talk about. And um, we're going to need someone to write things down. So if someone wants to uh, be the death typer, that would be awesome. I, I guess got, I got you. three hands. <laughs> <laughs> we just have stealth oh, wait, floating you're... over there. We got circuitry floating over there. And we got Sobe just being Sobe. Look, I can't hold a pencil and a notebook at the same time. I'm sorry. Yeah, you. I can only imagine what the <laughs> pencil does. Anyway, so yeah, today we're going to brainstorm ideas for future episodes, and um, that's if you guys have any like news in the um, in the in the whatever. There's one one sort of somewhat political thing, but it's not even political that I do want to touch on just for a second, and it's it's very simple. Does it start with a T? Yes. Let, let me let me just state something. This. Politics does not even have to be involved in what I'm saying. Wishing death upon someone is not okay in any context. Anyone that does wish death upon someone, especially a political figure, whether they agree with them or disagree with them, is just horrible. That, that's the worst thing you can possibly do. That's not right at all. Now, now that I, that's I don't, I don't want to actually, but I... I I can't ver verify this, obviously, but I'm pretty sure that no matter what website you use, whether it be Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, uh, YouTube, of course, uh, doing such an act is against community guidelines. Is that correct? I believe it is. So it even goes against terms of service in, of any platform. So and in the in the current stance of what's happening, all of those people that are saying that these horrible fucking things after someone was nearly murdered um all, all of those people there's a lot of them that are losing their jobs right now and the government is investigating a lot of them as well because that's no it's just not right you don't do that it's just yeah. if you fucking want someone to die you don't you don't just don't <laughs> it's that simple don't yeah Anyway, so now let's uh, let's start brainstorming. So uh, I did. I know. I did. Oh, go ahead. I know we want to talk about AI. I did try to reach out to a couple uh, couple people for an AI episode, and I don't think we're gonna get them on. Uh, timing's just not working out, so I think we're kind of stuck. Um, if we're gonna do an AI episode, it's gonna be just us. Which, you know, I have a good bit of knowledge about AI, so I can roll on that for a while. Where there's um, a will, there's a way. Yeah. Now, I actually did want to I did want to talk about something that actually came up in my Twitter feed today, and I was kind of really concerned. So, you remember a while back, we talked about Brandon Herrera running for the Congress of District 23 in Texas, right? Um, he's asked for a recount since then. I don't know if the recount's going to change anything or whatnot, but it's not the point that I wanted to bring up. But I wanted to bring up that, you know, obviously, Brandon Herrera being a gun YouTuber as well as others. I don't know if you actually saw it, but YouTube has changed its policies on the gun mm, yep. YouTuber uh, channels. And actually, the most recent news that I saw today on my Twitter feed was... Um, they are actually being denied any sponsorships from any gun companies. Meaning, if you have a, uh, let's say you have a sponsorship from Walther or Smith and Wesson or Glock, 
you cannot put those mm -hmm. in your video as a sponsorship, as an extension of a sponsorship. Which means that a lot of these, a lot of these channels are already demonetized. It's so stupid to remove, say what sponsors you can and can't accept. And YouTube is actually yeah. responsible for this, by the way. A lot of channels out there getting demonetized and absolutely having their ad revenue and their basic life, say, the, the way they earn money on YouTube, taken away from them just because of the fact that the advertisers themselves are not with YouTube's. Uh, I guess policy, new policies. I don't know what the fuck is going on over there in YouTube land. To be honest, yeah. it's so, just wrong so to take away anyone. Apocalypse number two. The, the new policy uh, number three, what I've understood about it three. Okay, is number three. Um, on YouTube now, you can show a fully automatic gun, but you cannot fire the fully automatic gun or show the firing of the fully automatic gun, even if it's completely legal whether that's because it was long for the NFA, um, you know, the, the full, out, full auto ban, um, or it's got the tax stamp, which, you know, again, I don't agree with the tax stamp, but it's still stupid, but when you do put that on, it's, it's legal. And all of those YouTubers, they are doing everything by the freaking book. Oh yeah. That was another thing I was going to bring up was that all of these YouTubers, like, you know, you talk about Kentucky Ballistics, Demolition Ranch, uh, Brandon Herrera, all of them are absolutely practicing proper gun safety in terms, and they're not only promoting gun safety, but they're also doing it in a historical and educational manner. You know, you look at yeah. some of the guns that um, Brandon Herrera has featured on his channel, stuff he's, going as far back as the 1800s. Yeah, he's, um, he's done very historical things. Things um, like showing different um, assassinations and the science and like recreating them for historical purposes. I know I was watching, a, I saw his JFK, uh, the reenactment of the JFK assassination video or the Alec Baldwin video or any of that stuff. So it's all for Stop it. definitely educational and historical purposes. So I just don't understand why, you know, it, it, you're demonizing yeah. these sponsors. You know, it's okay to take an Aura sponsorship or it's okay to take a, a Raid Shadow Legends Raid sponsorship. Shadow Legends. But a company like TapPack, you know, BetterHelp, yeah. I mean, you, you so many different sponsors, but none of these sponsors are going to touch gun YouTubers because of the fact that it's just like kind of a spicy territory for them. It's absolutely despicable. I'll yeah. go ahead and add that See, to the you, topics list then. When, when YouTube was first brought out, it was a free-for-all. As long as it's legal, you can post it on there. Mm -hmm. No one cared. And it was just a fun fucking time. And for years, it, it worked that way until Google got its hands on it. And slowly, Google started to morph YouTube while saying, No, we're not changing anything. Proceeds to change quite literally everything. Yeah, well, yeah it's because over the years, Man. YouTube has wanted to become the new cable television. Cable te First of all, I don't even have a subscription to Cox or DirecTV. Or I don't have any television in my channel or in my room Same. at all. Everything goes through YouTube or it goes through uh, Rumble. I watch everything on those websites. I don't even watch mainstream news on the television anymore. We we do have cable because my sister wants to watch the Thunder beat the ass out of everyone in the NBA. You know, it's, it's so much easier time. now. If you want to watch news, you watch it on YouTube because you get to watch the exact things you want to learn about that are in the news or the hot topics, whatever. And you don't sit there for 30 minutes on a talk show while they're talking about the fucking banana bread that their grandma made yesterday. <laughs> I know, and by also the way, there, found on YouTube. there is a exactly. clear bias. Exactly, if you want a good banana bread recipe, go on YouTube, you're gonna yeah. find it. You're gonna find anything yeah, and everything yeah. you want on YouTube, except for machine guns now. Yeah, I, I, I stopped that... paying for cable a good few years ago, because there's just no point. We never watched cable TV while we had that subscription. I will admit Hello, that the Titan only channel... And I, I actually only watched a couple. I watched Discovery, and I watched Science. And a maybe Cartoon Network when the good cartoons were on. But other than that, I didn't watch so, anything else. Back to the brainstorming. So we want to talk about um, 
YouTube, what is, was it? Uh, we're we're, we're going to talk about AI at some point. We're going to talk about YouTube. Um, we already have Titan, sorry. Turn to service. Yeah, we beat you to it, bud. Don't worry, just go back on YouTube.com forward slash Turtle Dude 01 and you can see that episode. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, we we did just blows. talk about a little bit of that, Titan. Um, we did um, just touch on that a tiny bit. Uh, um, yeah, because unfortunately, uh, our overlords of Amazon and Google don't like us talking about that kind of stuff. So we had to touch on it briefly. Yeah, and I mean, it doesn't Speaking matter because all I said on. about it. I didn't say anything about any specifics about it or anything, and I don't want no. to. I don't want to get into specifics about anything. I said very broadly that wishing death upon someone is not okay. And well, that's and I think we all can yeah. agree on that. Yeah, and if you don't agree on that, then you are a horrible person, and I will flat out say that. Absolutely. I mean, first off, my, my definitely my thoughts go out to the families out there that either lost loved ones or uh, have people who are injured from this horrible. Hell to the family event. of the shooter. Obviously, wishing someone that uh, that did a horrible thing, like legitimately killed hundreds if not thousands of people wishing them harm that's probably acceptable but it, it you don't have to say that you wish the harm on them because everyone just sort of know that if you it, it is a very wobbly tightrope discussing stuff yeah. like that i know it, anyway. it isn't let me so back onto the um back onto the brainstorm so it's hey, guy you know what I'm gonna drop this down. You AI, mentioned a Cartoon YouTubers. Network. Sorry, yeah, you mentioned okay, Cartoon Network. AI, what about the events YouTube that restriction. children's networks would host? Oh man! Like, how uh, about uh, just old, old Cartoon Network shows? Like what, when Cartoon Network oh, stripped dude, the away some of the cartoon peak. and brought in the real life shit. Like, who remembers Destroy Build Destroy? I remember yes. that, yeah, 100%. <laughs> that was really good. I really love that shit, dude. That, All right, that shit was I'm amazing. sorry, I'm about to trigger, I'm about to trigger a hell of a lot of people out there in the comment section, or wh whoever's in chat right now. I am very sorry. Today's cartoons fucking suck. I have seen some of the cartoons that are out there, they fucking suck. They really it's a cartoon. Do. It's, it's, but it's not on the level of what we had in the late 90s, early 2000s, okay? The late 90s, it's early 2000s, so, that was gold peak content. So the, the old, the old cartoons have so many hilarious innuendos and little gags that the parents would understand, but the kids wouldn't. Today's mm -hmm. cartoons are just stupid and it's all garbage and trash and it's yeah let's Titan be stupid and, and scream about sigmas and skip yeah, like saying in chat code lyoko like was a great show great show oh on man I, I absolutely fucking code lyoko code lyoko, <laughs> code lyoko every episode of it is uploaded Laser on Arrow. youtube you can watch it on youtube yeah yeah, them. yeah. they upload it every, every episode, episode on free. youtube they made it, they i, I made tried to watch the um i tried to watch the live action series of it and it was we don't talk about the live action version yeah that was... <laughs> by the way by the way uh the that reason was... i said that i was going to trigger a lot of people is because that. when i say cartoons that suck i'm not the biggest fan of adventure time i'm sorry i tried to get into it but adventure time sorry in my mind so, in my eyes it sucks adventure it time was one end. of those in between it, adventure yeah. time was similar to both the old and the new style of cartoons yeah it had the jokes that <laughs> funny enough it started get, out as the new style would, and, and then was... got better as yeah. the seasons went on yeah well yeah but the point is anyway. is that you're supposed to be good right off the bat like that's what ed ed netty dexter's laboratory johnny bravo Kelly yeah. chicken all those all those cartoons actually did have that right off the bat. Even Codename Kids Next Door, it started off as a fucking small project and grew into this big. Uh... Okay, okay, hold on. Also, my because own hot Titan, take, it wasn't good what from Titan the start. Is saying, <laughs> Titan, we're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about fucking Code Lyoko for a second because Titan is bringing up a good point. He says Yumi was the hot one, both Yumi and Aelita. No, just Aelita. Oh I God. fucking- Just Aelita. Oh my God. 
on the bus coming home from school in elementary school. I would like stay up super late watching Code Lyoko on Cartoon Network and then I'd go to school the next day and then I would like we did little like role play type shit about it and, and I was always the nerd, you know. And fucking oh, Ailita, I You're fucking odd? love Ailita. No. No, I was the computer. Is it nerd. Odd or Ulrich? Ulrich. Ulrich. I, yeah, Ulrich I was, was always more like the tough Ulrich. Guy. Ulrich and, was you know, more if like it, the tough guy who No, not Ulrich. Ulrich. Not Ulrich or Odd. Um Jeremy? Is it Jeremy? Jeremy? Yeah, Jeremy. Yeah, Jeremy. Jeremy. Yeah. See, I, I do know my shit. Fuck you people. I'm thinking that Code Lyoko is a big reason why I got into computers and tech. Because that Dude. shit was so cool. I, I would say it could <laughs> be a nerd's push? awakening. Didn't at some point they push Code Lyoko to, um... What was that late night anime series on Cartoon Network? Toonami. Tsunami. Yeah, didn't they push Tsunami yeah, and then Adult Swim? Uh, at one point, so at one point, yes, it was pushed to Tsunami. But you also have to understand that back in the day on Saturdays, they had like a five <laughs> to six hour block of Tsunami that included Thundercats, Zoids, it had fucking uh, G Force, it had Voltron, it had all of can these big just, shows. Can we just talk about something that's so off the fucking wall for a second? How the fuck? Did Cartoon Network and Adult Swim come like, how, an audience how is that night? on the same channel? <laughs> hey, first off, I mean, to be fair, I was actually fascinated when I watched, uh, I watched, uh, you, you, you're, you'd be amazed how the context of a cartoon changes when it's uncensored, it because I watched Gundam Wing on Toonami, and then I watched Gundam Wing on Adult Swim, and I was like, well, he says blast it in the censored version, but he says damn it in the uncensored version. I'm like, wait, that's not what he says. I've watched the this censored a hundred not. fucking times. Adult Swim was so, an idea pitched by Mike Laszlo, the same person that came up with Cartoon Network in the first place. So That's oh, fucking amazing. I, like, I did like Space Ghost Coast to Coast, by the way. That, uh, anytime Lazlo, that sorry, came out was so fucking hilarious. You were thinking of Camp Laszlo there. I oh, may Camp have been. Laszlo? <laughs> no, you Man, okay, we're gonna have, that's another that one. We're, we're going to have a whole no, that was episode Network. just talking about Cartoon Network. We're doing it right now. <laughs> No, we're, doing, doing. We're, we're we're done touching on that for today. We'll we'll get back to that. Oh, God um, damn we could do that one for next week. We could do that one for next week. I'm okay with that. Um, write that one down okay. for next week. Just Adult Swim. The uh, Cartoon Network Adult Swim cartoons. How about cartoons that don't suck? We'll call it. That. Uh, I love that it was one of my other bullshit. And that's, that is gonna that's the trigger the fuck out of our viewers right there. Okay. Because um, I'll say so a cartoon more, from the seventies. So, 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 What other ideas? Chat, you guys can come up with my ideas to, to toss at us, too. We'll... I know, we got ten people watching. Somebody throw an idea out there. Who yeah. are the two guys, guys that hang... Uh, I don't know, Bulk and Skull? No, that's Power Rangers, my bad. And no, sex cannot be one of them. Don't even try. No ERP, no sex. No. Maybe when we have uh, behind the paywall content. Anyway. <laughs> it's not ERP, it's AC. Aggressive cuddles. Aggressive cuddles. Yes. You also need to spit out my fucking drink, Sophie. <laughs> <laughs> what are you drinking in there, bud? Uh, I have to drink Airborne because I'm getting sick. I'll see. Okay, so what? Well, what other ideas and here? I threw this twice at you today, Turtle. I just didn't get a real solid response, but like, we could still talk about like future tech, like. Not not future tech that people know is coming oh, out, but more yeah. science fiction. So, so like um, the the tech that was in like scientific Back to the Future, Futurama, things like that. I did, so, so I did see a video today on uh, Twitter. You've probably seen the same thing, but it's actually a bot that goes underneath an illegally parked car, and it move. It doesn't tow the car. It just moves it to a legal parking spot. And I'm pretty sure it's in Japan. It's just a. <laughs> Japan is living in the future. They've always been living in the future. They so already Neo 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 is already alive. Uh, I don't want to say Dragon Ball Z was the edgiest one. Probably, I don't know. That's actually a good question. What was no, the edgiest uh, cartoon? In, okay. 
Okay, Probably more, more Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Force. That's not I would say oh, man, I love Come that on. shit. Yes, it is. I love I that think shit. It's, I think it's absolutely borderline edgy. It is batshit crazy, but I refuse to call it edgy. Meat boy. First, I always wonder what the fucking, fucking gem on the back of the fry guy was. I always wonder, what the fuck is that gem? I don't think they ever said uh, they have an episode about that? Yeah, yeah I wonder, they one of the episodes they did, they talked about that, that gem the whole time. Oh. I I grew up school bus. staying up until midnight or one in the morning watching Cartoon Network and Adult Swim. Like, I would be like, oh yeah, I'm not asleep yet, and Adult Swim just came on. Whoa! D during the <laughs> summer at like two in the morning, I would stay up as long as I could to watch Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. That's how I got my time with it. I see. Yeah, I was so it. sad. Um, there was there was a specific point in my childhood where Charter, which is the only fucking TV around, um, they had a cutover from their analog where you could just plug the coax straight into the TV and get the channels to the digital only. So you had to have one of their boxes. And I got, I, I was watching TV at the second they did the cutover and I was so sad because I had to wait like six months before my mom had the money to get another box. Okay, uh, just uh, addressing Titan in the chat. Teen Titans was not an edgy cartoon to me. That was just absolutely no. like just DC. Okay. Uh, but Teen Titans Go oh. fucking sucks. I will say that. OG That's another Teen cartoon Titans. I can't fucking do. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's universal. Well. The only yeah, people who would disagree are the people that put their kids in front of it and just leave. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? Oh, you can man. do that with a Rubik's Cube. You can't come out of your room until you solve it. That's what I would have done with my kid. <laughs> I just put books in front of my up phone. How do I solve Rubik's Cube? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you're okay. grounded until you solve this puzzle. <laughs> there you go. So... We could do an episode of... Um, I'm working that where one. Kids we... and the Internet. Oh, God. Oh, kids and the Internet. <laughs> <laughs> We could do an Here's episode <laughs> about um, where where we think computers, tech, and everything will be in five years. Oh, when we're on like what the PCs. seventh or eighth eighth gen of video cards? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, you know GPUs I, I are actually, actually relatively new. They've only we'll probably be on the twelfth like, gen if we're actually being realistic. Powerful GPUs have only really existed for like seven or eight years now. It's weird. Yeah, here's here's actually a story. I want to tell you this because my dad used to work for a company, a computer company. I can't remember what. I think it was Memorex. Um, Memorex Telex or something like that. But this was back in the early 90s before he owned his own business. He actually, the way you would actually... Uh, they overclocked computers like a motherfucker back in the day. And the way they kept them cool was they kept a spray, a sprayer of water next to the computer and they would just spray the fucking core anytime it got too hot. What? What? I'm not kidding. That's Definition how you actually, cool. that's how you, that's how you kept it cool <laughs> if you overclocked a, a computer back in the 90s. So, um, we could also do a, um, if we can get enough people on for it, um, we can do like reviews, like meme reviews, shit like that. We also we do owe it to the audience to do another military episode, so maybe we can bring some of those. Back. I will put a question yeah, mark do. next to the meme reviews one because that's a rabbit hole. I'm not sure we're ready for. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. If, well, um, we would open a channel in Discord and just let the floodgates open for anyone and everyone. I know, to but drop that's going to require editing there. on your part because the people on YouTube who are watching it have to see what we're looking at. No, I won't. Yeah, uh, I mean, are we supposed to just let already. him guess? Okay. I've okay. already got it figured out. Okay, if you got it figured out, hey, I'll, I'll let you, you go, fam. He says yeah. he has it figured out, chat. All Fucking run. All it's gonna require is an update <laughs> in the world. <laughs> and the me fuse is only two inches. On a drive. Okay. That, so that you essentially want them filtered out before the episode starts. Yes, I would have to have them a day before. Okay. Uh, we might need a couple more hands on deck for that one, then, to help you yeah, sift through yeah. it all. 
Vampy, get yeah. off your ass and do some work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, here. we got that idea. Um, I know, I looked at the camera when I said that. <laughs> No, I mean, I don't so know that's that like, the stream. That, and that can be meme reviews or reviews of literally any sort of image style things. Um, yeah, I don't see so, literally anything. Um, let's see. What other random topics could we talk about? We could totally do one where we just, uh, where, where I go to one of my AIs and I stuff every every title of the pod every podcast title so far into the ai and have it generate one well first off i mean it's going to end the same I way you and i argue with each other AI shenanigans. <laughs> AI shenanigans. Like the ai is going to be like oh wow these guys like to argue a lot so it's just going to lead right back to that uh, no but circus i'm just going to put the titles that's it just the titles just the titles, okay. Oh, that's right, you don't even have one title. Context, Total this is God have mercy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we, we, we need a list of things that you guys see have different opinions on and just have a night about that. You two just constantly... I, I will okay, absolutely it's add that. <laughs> it's been five well, first minutes. First off, I mean, Next you subject. bring up something that... Well, first off, I mean, we, we went to fucking war over whether or not VRChat is a platform or not. I'm not bringing that up. I'm not bringing it back up, Turtle. So, ah, put your experience. hand down. We, are, we have had <laughs> and, this fucking and the, and the Steam discussion. Reviews the Steam reviews agree. Save it for the reviews. Yeah, the reviews Steam agree. reviews Those people are about as smart as a nickel in my pocket. Save it. I the agree with Steam that. The reviews agree. It's still a game. You know what? I asked AI um, myself, so, is VRChat a video game at its face? It said yes. you're not going to bring it up, you're bringing it up. Stop. So, um, another one I'd like to do is, um, brought it up. Okay, now yeah. I just got lost on it. I don't care who brought it up at this point. <laughs> I have Shut written down this video for like three months from now. <laughs> I'm doing my job. I'm also keeping YouTube You guys are making me life. forget what I'm thinking. You guys are fucking ruining my brain. All right, Back I'm going to go pee. Never forget. <laughs> um, no, I, I had an idea man, that was pee. kind of spurring off the... Mm. Damn it! I don't remember what it was anymore. We need more ideas. It'll come to mind. They already put down events held by Kids TV Networks. Else. Yep. Um. A, a subtopic we could have, like it can't be a whole episode, but a sub subtopic we have, we could uh, talk about how a uh, turtle decorates his worlds, or at least the podcast uh, area. We never really did do the world building episode, did we? Uh, we kind of bundled that in with the yeah. um, avatar creation. We did uh, VR chat content making, creation. Why don't we make an entire episode dedicated to world building in VR? I will see if I can get a couple people on board for that. I will mark that like as I tentative. Said, if, like I said, if we can't make it a full episode, it could always just be a subtopic. Mm. Maybe something that fits into the theme of the main topic. Yep. That's kind of what we did last time when we talked about world and avatar creation. But we did focus more in on the avatar. Hmm. Now we can focus on the worlds. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Um, you know what I, I do when doing something on Turtle? I know you like going to public worlds. Minutes. What if we get a group together and find the experimental worlds to dive into? Hmm, we could. An idea. You know, my um, my main computer now should be powerful enough that we could do an entire podcast episode that I stream directly, and we just the four of us, five of us, whatever, go to VR chat worlds. All right, noting it down. Beyond Turtles Living Room. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking great. Hmm. <laughs> what else? What else? This has been a good day for my VR to break so I could actually we, jot down We could- I could also challenge 
at least two of you, you know, Stell and Sobe, I could challenge you two um, for one episode, and my, also myself, but not really circuitry because he doesn't really play VR chat. You'll understand in a second. So I'd, I'd, I'd like to do an episode where we just go to a public, we go to public worlds, the the day of the podcast or the day before or whatever the week the, the week leading up we just go find a random person in a public world that wants to come on the podcast and tell us their life story one condition we do not go to the black cat or if we Aww. do small instances only no we're not going to do it on the podcast we're going to go okay. find the people <laughs> and get them to come onto the podcast to okay. do to tell their story. You made it, you made it sound like uh, like a kick to that scenario. It's like, how would you like to? <laughs> <laughs> we could Can also. Um, oh, we're we're just talking about um, another idea that I, I have, um, where I want to I want to challenge the members of the podcast to go into a public world, meet someone new that they don't know and they have never met, and get that person to come onto the podcast and tell their life story. I could do that easy, yeah. All right, I have that okay. noted down as hot seat. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to do that one at some okay. point. Hot uh, seat, okay. Yeah, but, but it term. has to be someone. It, it has to be has someone to be. one we're not friends with. Two, uh, they have to be a new user, meaning they are they yep. they are white, right? So it has um, to be not. They don't have new to be users new blue. Users. Visitors Just, white. Um, visitor. Visitor. New, uh, new user. New or... user is blue. Or user. Visitor or new user, that's it. They, they it can't be, be someone yeah. orange or purple. Or All right? Yeah. <clears throat> Agreed. Also, someone that speaks English, please, for the love of God. Well, I'm not learning a new language. And they have someone already. that has a translator. <laughs> I don't trust Google as far as um, I mean a human so... translator. <laughs> I'm not bringing one of them on. That's more work for me. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants said you were going to do it? No. <laughs> well, let's say I let's say I find someone from Italy. I'm not gonna find okay, an it, Italian hang on. translator. If it's Spanish, I can bring my wife on, and I've got us covered there. Anything else, it's up to y'all. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. I'll I'll do Rosetta Stone before I do that. <laughs> okay, what? At least I'll get something out of it. I'm I'm kind of just brainstorming the. I was gonna say I do. So I did I did have a topic that I wanted to bring up. So most of you know you know what Patreon is. You know what Locals is, right? You know the websites. You know basically paywalled content. You support the creator individually, correct? Um, what if I told you that right now there's a software being developed that's going to be free, open source. The only thing you pay for is the web web domain and the server space. All right, and you actually download the software. And your your website becomes a clone of Patreon, or and you have control of the back end. You can control the price of how much people subscribe for, and all of it's behind a paywall that you control, and you keep 100% of the worth. Uh, what if I told of, you that uh, software is currently um, being developed right now? That whole idea has already existed Seems for a long time. It's just illegal. someone putting it together. No, that's not illegal at all. That's no, it's not illegal. illegal. You can make a software that does anything and everything you want. Like, I could well, make I something like that uh, myself, but I just don't see a point to it. Well, because I'm going to take a heavy grain of salt. Well, if you think about the math, I mean, you go to Patreon, you go to Locals, they already have the server space, you know, uh, already set up. But at the end of the yeah. day, uh, at the end of the month, you give them 10% of your earnings. So and part of that, so sorry, part of that, um, it's not them having the server space that you're paying the 10%. It's I know they have employees. Rates. They have They also have it's, employees to pay to manage. Rates. You're paying. You, you ignore the fucking employees. Ignore their costs. You are paying them a percentage to protect yourself from chargebacks. Because when you get a chargeback, your processor that the, your payment processor charges you the total of the transaction plus fees plus an additional chargeback fee. Mm -hmm. So if someone, if you're self-hosting it, you are taking on the risk of chargebacks. Well, at the same time, it's also a subscription service, so it would actually be like, if you want to cancel at any time. And you can, yes, but, but you pledge you, this money you, for this month. Yes, but guess what? If I mean, I you can clearly write out the terms I, of service. 
you can write as many terms as you want, but that does not stop people from doing a chargeback through their bank. If someone, let's say a credit card gets stolen and someone uses that credit card on your self-hosted system, the credit card issuer, issuing bank is going to run a chargeback on every transaction that was fraudulently done on that card. Doesn't matter what service terms were agreed to. That chargeback is going to happen and you are on the hook for the fees. I know, but also consider the fact that it's like, if you have, let's say hypothetically, you get 10,000 people to sign up. 10,000 people to sign up, let's say hypothetically 10 bucks a month, five, 10 bucks, set the price however you want. Okay, at 10,000 people, you're really not going to, are you really going to cry over, if you're, if you're charging, if you have 10,000 people sign up to the website and you have one person that says, all right, uh, I just want my 10 bucks back. 10 bucks out of what? Uh, we're talking easily over a million? Is going to hurt you? Yes. Yes, but all it takes is that the, 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 the chargebacks are a bitch. Let's just leave it at that. You oh, trust are me, uh, on the risk as somebody the who has a, who has had to cancel my PayPal, yeah, I know. Which, by the way, thanks Twitch for protecting my uh, my security. Someone hacked my Twitch and actually tried to use my PayPal to steal five thousand dollars from me. <clears throat> wow, someone's been trying to break into my Facebook for years. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> broke into my Twitch. They got out of it and they tried to spend like five grand on subscribers. Yeah, that's Jesus. Yeah. Mm. So that, they shut that's off another my, thing uh, with. That's another thing. They with shut Twitch off my uh, my um, debit card. I had to get a new debit card. Some so. some streamers yeah, they, do not. Got caught. Some streamers do not accept donations directly, and they only accept like the bits and the subs and stuff directly through Twitch, and they do that because of chargebacks. Because if someone sends you a thousand dollars and then charges it back. You're getting hit with a thousand fifty or more, but, depending on if it was on PayPal. Well, here's or the thing: they can also they do that to your. They can do that to your PayPal as well, because there was a story years ago. There was a creator who was going around and you know donating one dollar. Literally, what I just said. Right, I'm just throwing yeah. in platform security. That's literally what I was just saying. Yeah, we we could do I know. that. Um, yeah, I I'd like to do more like high tech episodes as well because you know me with the programming and the server hosting and all that shit be fun well, too. you need to bring on um, some experts brother you need to actually just bring on your tech buddies absolutely yeah bring on the network the turtle hub <laughs> stealth okay. that's a great name hold on hold on hold on you gonna change the discord to the turtle hub no. Okay. He's about to do something worse. I'm okay. going to do something <laughs> so much worse. So, Turtle, before we go any further, I do want to point out that there's an echo on your stream. You might want to have a look at that real quick. Is there? Yeah, there's an echo. Oh, it's probably... Oh, no, yeah, I... You know what? No, 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 no. We're just all God today. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep it. Never mind beyond pixels. We are now beyond mortals. <laughs> oh, okay, um, cosmic power. Is it still? Can they still hear us? No. Yeah, but it's way too quiet now. Um. Yeah, it's way too quiet. Oh god, my stream was like way. stream no no there was audio it was just not oh wait okay, yeah there was no audio yeah um yeah it's way too quiet exactly that's why i had to switch it back and the echo's back <laughs> just deal with it we'll look at it later you know like 
Uh, we'll, we'll be right, dodged for an it. episode. Fuck it. Look, his equipment's there not working. Go. My equipment's that not working. Good. Yours hasn't been working. Okay. Now we're good. Oh, that sounds way better. Now we're good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just wanted to, I we just want to make sure that was sorted out. Yeah. Um, anyway. Hey. So. <laughs> Humans uh, make mistakes. Other, other ideas. We are the ethereal beings. We. D- did you not hear how fucking ethereal we sounded? This is off the cuff, but what's the best beer ever made? There's only one beer. The kind that gets so. me drunk. I don't drink beer. <laughs> An open one? Oh, wait. I, I know. Yeah. A free one. I know the answer. A free, A free one. one. Hey, when I was in so, Vegas, I actually, so yes, if you gamble at a machine in Vegas, they will give you free beer. Definitely not Bud Light. No, Bud Light's what you use uh, for fondue. It's not just Vegas, actually. It's the whole of Nevada and out west, actually. I've been to like six or eight casinos. One of them was in a truck stop. No, so I, they, just, um, I just stuck to Dos Equis. When I was drinking in Vegas, I stuck to Dos Equis. Dude, in, uh, in Nevada, though, they will sometimes, uh, some of them will give you uh, free mixed drinks, even. Like, I had, a, I got so fucking drunk in, oh, man. Bro, when I went to the casinos, those, shit, that, those mixed drinks were like 25 bucks Ooh. a piece. So... All of us Welcome have been to board, conventions Vaders. before, haven't we? No. More like invaders. Well, you've been to. A I did go. To, I, I, I went sort. to. I went to. I went to ThoughtCon and I went to ThoughtCon twice. Exactly. So you've been to a convention. Circuitry, yeah, me, have been to a way? convention. Stealth was there, <laughs> but didn't go to the convention itself. Yeah, no, because like people get a fucking ticket it. for some reason. So let's do an episode talking about conventions that we've been to. Uh, I've right. only been to one. And that's TwitchCon. Back I've in 2019. Yeah, that's the, I, I will put TwitchCon and other conventions. Conventions and festivals. We'll throw those I in. I know. Does a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament, does a global Yu-Gi-Oh tournament count as a convention? Competitions absolutely uh, count. Sure. Why not? Because yes. I did go to, I did travel six hours to go to a Yu-Gi-Oh Hello, global Vader. like qualifier. And me and my friend. Titan might also have some input off, on we this. Made a, we made a fucking killing there I, I was trading i spent more time trading cards than i did actually dueling in the tournament all my friends were dueling in the tournament they they came in very low rankings so i came in low rankings but i was more interested in trading for the <clears throat> cards like finding some really good shit and man i came out with a fucking like haul that day my god yeah we'll, we'll so talk does anybody about um, ever losing their pokemon mentions. cards I do. Dude, I, I have, had a first edition have... Charizard, and someone threw it the fuck away. I was so pissed. I have old ass Pokemon <laughs> and Yu-Gi-Oh cards in a tin somewhere in this house. Good, good. My good. brother used good. to I have like my an entire... entire binder of Pokemon cards that he lost at some point before he moved out. Yeah, I lost an entire first edition set of Exodia. I was pretty pissed about that. Also, Turtle, that statement you just said, you have it somewhere in the house. My yeah. stepdad has a flash drive with two uh, full Bitcoins on it. Somewhere in his office. He just doesn't want to look for it because he thinks it's going to uh, be too bad. I'm just throwing crypto on there. <laughs> and we'll yeah, paste the music. Yeah, we can talk. <laughs> we'll talk about crypto. Um, um, turtle coin specifically. Oh man, I have stories to tell about turtles. Holy shit. (laughs) Bitcoin is currently $63,691.10. I don't want to. That's not a comeback, is it? That's like $120,000. Your dad needs to find that drive right now. (laughs) (laughs) Like, tell him to start fucking digging. There's a hundred grand. If he doesn't Uh, find it now, in another couple years, that price is going to be damn near double. That's yeah, true. it's going to be um, because of the split. I'm, I'm trying to think. Did you all hear about that story? The guy actually had like 120,000 Bitcoin in an account, and he couldn't remember the password. So yeah, he couldn't and then it access. turned out uh, there. There was one guy that um, that threw away his hard drive and spent thousands and thousands and hundreds of thousands of dollars trying to find it in the dump. Finds it, and it turns out it was just Bitcoin cash, so it was worth like a thousand dollars. 
Yeah, it wasn't worth <laughs> shit. Yeah, <laughs> I heard about that. Which God, here's a public stories, statement though, to anyone so regarding that. Shit. If you're going to th throw away a flash drive, hard drive, or anything like that, clear it out first. You have no idea what's on there. <laughs> That's and don't just a do a quick... Full of flash drives. Don't just do a quick clear either. Do a, a deep do a clean where one. it overwrites it with all ones, all zeros, and then back to all ones. Deep dive I, that shit. I have a better right. way to clear a flash drive. Break it in half. I, half it it in God. <laughs> I said break it in half Shotgun. and throw it in a fire. God damn. That still counts. <laughs> I know okay, it does. That's so why I laughed. <laughs> do y'all remember the story of the Silk Road? It was uh, the uh, mm. you had to use the uh, the Tor browser to access yep. it. It was uh, yes. basically we're not gonna touch on that type of stuff because that is heavily illegal no. But shit. I do I do want to mention one really interesting fact uh, about it. So the total amount of Bitcoin uh, uh. revenue that actually uh, was generated from the sales for two years that it was active. Nine million five hundred nineteen thousand six hundred sixty-five. That comes to just over six hundred and five billion dollars in Damn. today's money. Yeah, uh, but we're just not going to touch on it, illegal it, topics. No, <laughs> uh, it's, uh, also, it's, circuitry. It's, I just got it's, word it's, that there are federal agents at your doorstep. Uh, <laughs> FBI, open up. <laughs> No, mm. they don't. Hey, you know They're what? They're throw a flashbang right. through your window. <laughs> I hope they are. That's not my window. That's my <laughs> sister's window. Who cares? Is your sister single? Oh, God, yes, she is. God. Why would you? Why wouldn't you? Okay, it? Hold on. Hold on. Another idea for another episode. I think you Turtle, might know where this is going. She's twice your age. She's twice your age. Just so you know. And I think he cares. I mean, uh, you know what? You you want to? I'll I'll actually let you talk to her <laughs> if you. Want. <laughs> Hell and yeah. Yeah. Oh my house. God. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put down the circuitry to spotlight. <laughs> oh, fuck no. no, I I want to do an episode. I'm doing it, but I'm um, market is tempted. So this this idea has sort of been passed back and forth around a little bit. The, the doing the um, blind date or thing like that. Um, setting people up. <clears throat> Would be hilarious to do that on the podcast. Just just find some girls that are single and want to fucking do it on a live stream and... Okay, not... Okay, don't take that sentence out of context. <laughs> Too late. Do a... Do a date. <laughs> I, I don't think we're qualified for that, but I will put that down as coming out of my shell. <laughs> that, that's actually not bad. That's not a bad. That, that's better than what I thought. I, I bro, thought it was bro, it, like, that actually, the, uh, Turtle, you need to make turtle. a t shirt with that slogan on it coming out of my shell. <laughs> that is so fucking fire, dude. You're going to sell so many t shirts if you put that on a t shirt. You know, speaking of, um, now, here's another episode we have to do. We have to do another episode about DJs. Right. Oh, that's right. For one reason and one reason only. Because I have all the fucking DJ equipment and I'm DJing IRL at the bar now. Every Wednesday. It's fucking fun. This is not an ad, but if you find yourself in our area, stop on by. Okay, what's your... I, I have to ask, are you going... <laughs> Are you going by Turtle Dude when you actually do the DJ events, or are you going by your real name? <clears throat> I am going by. Or do you DJ have some Turtle weird Dude. fucking persona? Tortoise Bro. What is it? <laughs> I'm going for, by DJ Turtle Dude. DJ Turtle Dude. I mean, I mean, you at, at least, least he's have like a shell cap that you wear. I was gonna say that's another brand. That's another slogan right there. Raise some shell. Stop yeah. marketing my jokes. Nice. <laughs> anyway, any, any oh, other trust me, um, I could, ideas? I could spend an entire episode trying to come up with merch for his DJ stuff. I could Hang absolutely on. do that. 
Hang on. Jotting it down. I have another idea. I have another idea for an episode. Puns. Just puns and dad jokes. Yes. Ooh. I'm all down for dad jokes. <laughs> We're here. really going beyond the pixels with that one. Two French Message fries my... walk into a bar. Oh, one is assaulted. Some, uh... I love how the entire room went silent after that. It's a dad joke. What do you fucking expect? Yes. <clears throat> you should add a caveat onto that and make it a challenge to see who actually laughs. Oh, we could do. We could do some challenge episodes. That's um, harsh, Titan. <laughs> we could do some challenge episodes. Fix the DJs, you'd have one. <laughs> I'm, not sure sure DJing. Though. I'm not sure that's a testament to DJing. I'm not sure that's a testament to DJing in general. It may have something to do with Turtle's topic opener. Talking ball torture. Exactly. <laughs> okay, hang on. Another episode, pick up lines. Oh, God. God. So I'll be sick that okay. day. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're going to use all the pick up lines on you. You're going to be nope. the stand in woman. You know what? Just to. Is it because just because I'm piss... the only not green one. Just I'm because just I want to start playing more. Just, be the consequences. just because I want to. I want to actually. I want to. I want to. I want to do an episode about furries. We absolutely need to do one because I was literally thinking about that. But I, I was watching no a video today, a documentary so you, sir, on furries. That shit is older than I fucking thought it was. I thought it was just like a new thing, like from like 2016 or 2017. No, this shit's been going on oh. since like the early 2000s, like before that. No, no, no. You want a rabbit hole? That's a really deep fucking rabbit hole. I was like, Jesus fucking Christ. Like, these people actually, like, they fought for their okay, own convention. Okay, hang on. Uh oh Turtle? Let me pull something up, because this is fucking hilarious. Um, is it clean? It's, it's not God. really hilarious, and I'm not going to play it in here, but I had to pull it up, and I'll share it in the, the, the chat. Um, so, speaking of furries... Viewers be advised. Years ago, I once found... This gem. All right, I gotta see this. Where, where? I just where pasted it in Twitch chat. <sighs> um. <laughs> oh, you pasted it in Twitch chat? <laughs> yes, because I want people in chat to be able to hear this. Horrific. God, I gotta stop my music for this. <laughs> It's called Furry Boy. It's, um... It's Barbie Girl, but furry. Nope. Turn that shit <laughs> off at word go. Yep. <laughs> Anyone else wants to suffer? Be my guest. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go swallow everything I have under the sink. <laughs> you send some my way, too? <laughs> you like Windex? Uh, more of a, so, uh... I'll add it all first. I have an <laughs> IRL friend kind of that myself. Um, lived in my town, moved away, and then he moved back again. Um, that he's a, he's a furry, and he wants me, or he wanted me to go with him to furry meetups and hangouts. And I, I thought you were going to leave that at he wants you. You know, it, well, that too, but that's a different story. Okay, I would have had a different cur I would have had a different chorus to this. I was just like, come on, furry, let's eat curry. Ah, ah. Anyway. <laughs> it's it's so fucking Jesus. concerning. Like, I think I've got that noted already, Titan. Uh the adpocalypse. I actually do not. Hold on. Gonna... Uh I do want to actually talk about the adpocalypse of, of 2016, 2017. Because there is a lot of history behind that, and really it just shows the fuckery that the media will actually get a around. I yeah. will put past and present then. Oh what yeah, because about? I mean like the, the first ads on YouTube here's and the thing, Twitch. The first, the first ad apocalypse was so bad that creators were denied ninety percent of their ad revenue. Ninety mm, percent. It, it was rough. And it, it was so bad. I think so that's bad. what helped give birth to shit like raid. Hmm. 
Well, yeah, because it's, yeah. it's the reason why right now most people have to go with sponsors. Like Raid Shadow Legend, mm -hmm. give it all the shit that you want, but Raid has done a lot more for creators than YouTube has in the last two years. I'm still going to give them shit. Yeah. I mean, hey, if Raid like, wants to give me that. money, I will um, I will shill. If anyone wants to give us, give us money here, I will shill you. I will shill your shit for like 10 minutes straight. Well, first, I think an average raid, uh, depending on the views that you get, I'm pretty sure that the average raid is uh, between, I, I want to say between six and $8,000. Sometimes it can go up to $12,000 just for one single ad. Jesus. I'm not going to lie. I thought that was my phone. <laughs> I know. Hang on one second. Okay. Any other, um, any other Hello? stupid, like funny ideas for topics? Um, that, mm. that'll get us fucking dying laughing like we can do we, we're gonna do the meme review at some point we're, we're gonna do we're gonna open a channel in discord for submissions oh I, I think point, I know just the channel to promote that too so whenever that starts let me know and it'll, it'll mostly if, be halo memes be warned but there will be a lot of if them. we do um, if, if we do enough of like meme review or image reviews i will set up a fucking discord bot to automatically like once we go through and moderate them and click a button boom it's on the files to be loaded into the game immediately the command on turtle bot pretty much uh okay let's have it titan you say you have a good one you don't you're be banned. a good one or i'm gonna time you out <laughs> Stupid stories that you did back in your childhood. We did that one already, didn't we? I'm pretty sure we did. Um, but yes, and half of them I can't speak about. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not a bad topic. I mean, but I'm pretty sure we already touched on it. Yeah, because about college days. How many people did. here go to college? I, I did not go to. Not. I didn't go to college. I, I went to a voca I went to vocational school for welding. Wow. I'm the and I went only to job one who actually attended. Oh, right, by the way, I have a quick story about. I'll give you. I'll give you a quick story about that. So my welding teacher. This is how hardcore he was. There was one guy in the class who refused to clean up at the end of the day. It's a. It's a rule. Like as soon as the whistle is blown, you stop what you're doing. You clean your workstation. You clean the shop up before we leave. That includes all the metal That's dust. Fair. That includes. Yeah. Throwing out all of the scrap metal, making sure it goes in the bins so it can be recycled. And there was one guy who refused <sighs> to sweep. I got you tight. Now, I wasn't there that day, but, but here's what happened. And the guys told me the story, and I fucking laughed my ass off. So one day, he's refusing to clean up. The teacher steps out to actually go to his, um... God, God damn it. Most and least favorite jobs. Write that down. Yes. Tell, tell whoever's calling you to join the podcast. Yes, Go. I'm in the middle of a podcast. Can Most you and least favorite jobs. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I'll put favorite jobs on there. But uh, basically, he stepped favorite. out. So he stepped out uh, to grab a coffee. He was talking to faculty members. He comes back. The guy has a bloody fucking face with a nose <laughs> dripping. Down, and he's there sweeping and everyone is watching him sweep. Like everyone in the class, he's the only guy in the class actually sweeping, and he's got fucking bloody snot rolling down his fucking nose. And the teacher just said, "Well, I didn't see what happened, so I guess we're good." <laughs> and oh, all, amazing, the, all the students you said, know. "All the students, all the my classmates told him was what happened. He fell." <laughs> mm, and yes. my teacher was like, "All I right, fine." Wish. This reminds me of, and I'm gonna tell this story since we're telling these stories quick. Um. Uh, that, that reminded me of high school. I think it was like my junior year of high school. Uh, maybe maybe sophomore. I don't remember. I don't remember what year it was, but it was um, it was a year that I took an ag tech class. Um, so we were raising chickens, and my school had like a courtyard in the middle, and we were raising the chickens in there. Well, um, one day. The tech, the, the ag tech teacher was uh, out, so we had a sub. Now there goes we my were phone. in there. We were we were weighing our chickens, and one, one kid picks the chicken up, shoves it in my face. I'm like, dude, don't do that. Push him away or push the chicken away. He shoves it in my face again. I'm like, dude, seriously, don't do that. He shoves it in my face again. I'm like, dude, stop. 
push him. And he's like, oh, you're getting in trouble for this. Just fucking comes at me and starts like wailing on me. I kicked him in the shin with my steel toe boots like twice. He ended up having to go to the hospital and I got to go home free of charge. He got suspended for the week. I say we make that a topic. <laughs> uh, what, would you, what did you do in school that got you sent to detention? Or got you suspended? Let's, let's make that a topic. Yeah, because I have several fucking stories. I could I could fill an entire hour with that shit. <laughs> Not saying I was a troublemaker intentionally. Let's just say ADHD is a real thing, people. Especially when you're medicated. Fuck off. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, oh, yeah. I think. Do you want um, Adderall too? Uh, no. I think that's uh, I was about it. Adderall. Um, for today. So I think we're gonna wrap up. Um. Yeah, because I got to those phone calls for me. Two pages full of bulletin points. Good. Um, so that was episode 33 of the Beyond Pixels podcast. We're here every Thursday at 7 p.m. Central Time. You can find us on twitch.tv slash one And you can find all previous episodes on YouTube. Turtle Dude Zero One. You can find all the, all the prior episodes there. There's always a link below to join the Discord, to uh, talk, toss in your own topics and ideas, and maybe even come on to win, on with us for one. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's nice having you guys. So we'll we'll do the uh, quick little quick little thing here um, that we always do at the I'm end. I'm wrapping up. Don't start with me. Search free. Hey. I- uh, I go live on rumble.com forward slash circuitry. You can find me there. I'm also on YouTube. I'm on uh, Twitch, Twitter, Kick, Discord, all of those. S Y R K A T R I I. If you see me on TikTok, it's not me. Report that account immediately because fuck TikTok. Fuck TikTok. Okay. Uh, I guess it's just you now, Stalt. <laughs> oh, God damn it. All right. I'll put the header for this in a second. Uh, y'all can find me on <laughs> twitch.tv slash Stalt the Fox. I'm not going to say when I'm streaming anymore because obviously it's been a colossal shit show ever since the hurricane hit my area and we're still trying to recoup that. So I know I'm guaranteed on Thursdays. We'll see what my schedule looks like the rest of maybe next week. See y'all then, baby. Possibly. And um, obviously you can always find us here. Um, If you have any topic ideas, toss them in the comments. Go into you or onto the Twitch, anything like that. Go ahead and give us your ideas. And I think that's about all I have for today. I never played Payday Titan. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Good way to end that. Uh, I have oh, there is one thing, for Titan. I, I will note, I have noted they have made more updates. Vampy and I may come back to them at some point. All right, you two can actually do the whole payday thing. Me personally, I'd never found it like addicting. It's, it's not everyone's cup of tea. I just love memeing. Is, is there any point in putting in a uh, talk about this in the comments section this week? Yeah, there uh, well, is a that, point. I it's... already did that, and I just said um, topic ideas. So yeah. I, I wasn't paying yep. attention. He beat me. He beat me to it. <laughs>